and we're back with Subnautica, and today is going to be, well, a new game. I think we'll go with the default survival. Uh, freedom sounds a little bit too easy, hardcore sounds a little bit too hard, and creative just sounds like no. Uh, this is going to be more of a... For the first day of this, I just want to go in blind, not have too much information, and all I know is we crash land and then we have to survive. Sort of similar to Factorio and, well, quite a lot of other games, actually. Eh, uh, what have we got? Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Yeah, I remember these graphics. I know I've seen a few videos on this before. This is a really nice escape pod. Like, I really feel like there's an awful lot of space in this escape pod for just two people. Oh, yeah, that's probably not good. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, sounds about right. Oh, excellent. Uh, we should probably use the fire extinguisher that's right there, I'm guessing. Uh, yes, pick up fire extinguisher. Right, how do I use it? Yep, yeah, perfect. I'll call that a pretty decent intro. Uh, fine. And what? You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. Okay, this we'll just PDA treat it with some eggs. We'll be fine. In emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Perfect. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, you sure don't want to give me some advice like, you know, find food and water, anything like that? Tabs, close PDA. Done. Excellent. Uh, one, two... Ah! So that's our quick slots. One is... Okay, so the fire extinguisher is in level one. Anything else in here? Damaged radio. Use repair tool. So we need a repair tool to repair the radio. Use fabricator. Ah! Resources. Well, we can't use any of that yet, which means we probably need to find something first. Okay, and what are you? Damage secondary system, use repair tool. Circuitry test failed, secondary systems offline, radio offline, distress signal broadcast failed, rotation device deployed, health hunt integrity okay. Solar power cells 1 to 3 online, solar power cell 20 to 25. So we've got power. Cool, well, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, it's actually. You probably should have checked to make sure there was oxygen out there first. Uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, that's a the lot of sea. suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Well, that's probably a bad sign. Okay, what's the plan then? Hmm, titanium ingot, silicone rubber, glass bleach, filtered water, disinfect water. Well then, let's go for a swim, shall we? Sea is down, space is up. Uh, where is our oxygen meter? Okay, it's the O2 is over on the left. What are we looking for here? Roop, I don't know what you are, but you don't look friendly. Well, that was an excellent introduction to the water. Uh, right. Huh? So, what's the plan? Board escape pod. Medical fabricator. Okay, we've got a first aid kit. Yeah, the thing is, we don't actually have anything. Was it open storage container? Ah, flare, filtered water. And nutrient block. Okay, so we do actually have things we can use to keep ourselves fed and watered. Disposable ice source, useful for distracting certain predators. Okay, we'll take a couple of those. And flares are already in place. Grant. What else is there around here? Maybe there's a weapon of some sort. We need to get our hands on, well, 
A weapon? That's normally how these things go. Oh, wait a minute, there's a box over here. And you don't look friendly, whatever you are. What are you? Damn it. Would you sod off? How do I pick that up? E is not working. Is there F? Oh, break limestone. Very well. What are you? Sandstone. Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks now. What are you? Nothing we can grab? Oops. Metal salvage? Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse oh. ecological biomes. Further study recommended. I really want to kill that guy, but he's being really annoying. Uh, uh, ooh, there's more over there. When do I get a gun? Ooh, giant coral tubes? Right, that's cool and all. Thing is, I need a goal. Something to strive for, and so far it hasn't given me one. I'm not sure why. So, let's go back to the fabricator. We now have resources, uh, basic materials, titanium. And... right? That give us basic building material? Go again. Okay, why can I keep doing this? Personal equipment. Ah, standard O2 tank, fire extinguisher pipe. A chain of pipe can be used to transport breathable air from a functional pump, and floating air pump acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. A uh, standard O2 tank might be preferable. Let's see what else we've got going on here. Waterproof locker. Huh. Yeah. We can also miss titanium ingots. Uh, condensed titanium... How much titanium do I have on me? That's a lot of titanium ingots. How do I have this many? Oh, we also have lead. Hmm. I think I'll go with the standard O2 tank for now. I have no idea how we fill that. New blueprint acquired. Okay. Uh, 30 seconds of auction. O2 mix compressed breathable air. How do I fill it? You know what? Don't care. Let's go find some more resources. Uh, my screen is telling me to eat something. So, nutrient block? What? No! Come back here. Okay, perfect. That's how we use it. Uh, filtered water? Yeah, we'll use that when it tells us we need to. Let's go do a little bit more exploration movie. Once I get a gun, you're the first person I'm coming for. You know that, right? You're really frustrating. Oh, acid mushrooms. I assume you have some use? Lupam, acid mushrooms. So the oxygen tank basically just increases the amount of time we can stay underwater. We don't have to fill it or do anything special, it just works. Oh. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Okay. Can't grab that one. What about you? Got another one. I hope those acid mushrooms are useful for something. I seem to have collected a lot of them. Right, so the ship is giving off radiation. We can't get too close to it for a while, which limits the amount of industrialization we're going to be capable of. 
Let's see what we can do with this stuff we've managed to collect so far. I filled up our inventory with junk. Uh, you is the fabricator. Yeah, sure. Why not? Personal. Okay, no. Food. Sustenance. We have cooked food and water. What do we got for water? Filtered water. Using an all-organic membrane on vegetation. Okay, so we take the bladder fish and we turn it into a bottle of water. Wow, that's awesome. Cooked fish. Cooked bladder fish. Spongy. Gristle. Low calorie count. Thankfully, odorless. Um, I think I want more water for now. What is the mushrooms used for, though, that we got our hands on? Well, I have no idea what's happening, but let's just keep doing some more diving. I'm sure we'll find plenty of stuff. Underwater looks absolutely awesome in this game. They really nailed it. Like, I still want to go exploring. What are you? Your creep vine. How is my inventory full? Okay, one second. I gotta go dump some stuff. And let's continue our nighttime exploration. Ooh. Glowy stuff. Glowy stuff is always good, unless it's bad. Oh, hey, buddy. Would you? Would you please? Do you mind? Like, you're being really, really inconsiderate here. An asset. Eh, what do we got over here? Uh, inventory is full. How do I keep filling up my inventory so quickly? Creature egg. You know what? I need to figure out some way of not filling up my inventory every five seconds. I had to drop some stuff, so we're just going to let that float away. I think we have to find, well, materials that we can use. And the stuff I've been harvesting is not useful. So we need stones of some sort. I'm thinking. So we're going to have to deal with all the junk that's down here. Yep. You again, eh, buddy? Yep, yeah, well, that sucks. Now, does that mean you won't respawn again for a while? In fact, let's medkit this stuff. Perfect. Oh. Ass hat. We got quartz. Ooh, creature egg. I don't know what you were, but we'll take it. Eh, what else have we got in here? Ooh. One second, we gotta go up top real quick to grab some O2, then we're going right back down there again. Ah, that worked out okay-ish. Now. Where is... what are you? Copper, Copper will... is an essential component of all Perfect. powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Wow, that's um, good to do. I don't know what those things are, but they don't seem that friendly. Yeah, never mind, they're in the air. Gold. Limestone. Egg. Oof. Ooh, what are you? You are titanium. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Cool. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Well, we've got just about everything we can. We've stripped mine. Hey, I, how did I miss Super you? Sulfur-based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Well, that's enough of that. Let's go see what tech that's unlocked. Right, so that's what I should have found immediately, was to go down there and find that stuff. This should unlock some more tech that we can use. And hopefully that stuff just hangs around. Uh, no, I just... Damn it. No, board escape pod. There we go. Right. Uh, fabricator, what have you got for us now? Silicone rubber. Ah. Okay. So that creep vine stuff can turn into silicone rubber. We'll probably have a use for that. Uh, glass. Pure fused quartz glass. Okay, what else have we got in here? Food-wise, we're still trapped. This stuff. Fins. Transverse vertically moved underwater into forward thrust enhances swim speed by approximately 15%. Yes. Eh. 
The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment. Repair tool. Using locally available materials. Multi-purpose repair tool functional in all environments. Right. So you are a repair tool. Damaged radio repair tool or actually take the med kit. You can repair this stuff or you can repair this stuff. Hmm. Okay. Life pod secondary systems online. Run huh. full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. That's good, right? Eh. So, we can grab a medkit from the fabricator, then it regenerates another one, so we should grab those the moment they come out. You are the radio, let's get you working. This is a yeah, just a... Rescue operation will be dispatched Nine hours. Hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Will do. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on in here then. Lubricant. Okay. Seek fluid intake. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles Glass. and power plants. So, what are we missing here? You make a floating air pump, we got fins, high capacity O2 tank requires glass, titanium. Okay, so we need some more glass, and I can make a high capacity O2 tank, that will give us a little bit more reach. Uh, the seed light, unknown ingredients, okay, so there's ingredients for that we don't have access to yet. Um, electronics, copper wire, computer chips, if you, you know what? No, there's nothing else we can get out of that. I should probably find out though what I can use these mushrooms for. I have a whole bunch of acid mushrooms and I can't use them for anything. Hmm. I should probably dump a bunch of those actually. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna drop a bunch of those into the ocean. We can we can find more if we need them. Hey, like it's it's one of those things you're just gonna collect everything you can. What are these creature eggs? An unidentified egg. Hmm. Oh, actually, I should probably grab those things and turn them into silicon. You go, go, go. Right click to drop. Oh. What just happened? Did Did I just die for some reason? What killed me? Dropping stuff? Well, now it's time to see if stuff respawns. There was yeah, junk over here before scrap. Uh, it does not appear to have come back. This thing is still here, and I have no idea why. A mobile vehicle bay fragment. I can't pick it up, I can't seem to attack it or do anything. Eh, we'll worry about it later, I suppose. For now, let's just pop over here. This guy patrols this area, so it usually it must have good stuff, right? Or maybe not. We'll come back later when you're feeling less uh, angry. Okay, more scrap. That's titanium. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be aiming for here, so I'm just going to grab everything we can. Ooh, fish. You are the drinkable ones, right? Yeah, we'll grab you. I don't know what you are, but we'll try and grab you too. Yeah, cool. Yeah, what have we got here? We got seed light fragment. Okay. more scrap. I'm thinking more mining is in order if we could find the stuff. Oh, great. Inventory is full. Uh, you can go, you can go. Right, mine some titanium. We can turn the scrap into titanium ore. I should hopefully screw up some inventory space. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core. May result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Well, a quantum detonation doesn't sound too good. That sounds definitely bad. Maybe we should try and avoid that at some point in the future. Ooh! Floral flavor, but very little of it. Great. Cooked boomerang. Good eating around the fins. Cooked bladderfish. I think I want to keep the bladderfish because we turn the bladderfish into water and we turn the other fish into food. 
common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Nope, Remember I'm that good. humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Sure I can. If there was a way to stack stuff, that would be really nice. You see, the problem I face at the moment is I'm not sure what I'm supposed to keep and what I'm supposed to throw away, what's important, what's bad. I should probably start uh, compressing some of that titanium and do something else. Uh, let's see. We'll make ourselves some titanium ingots. That turns some of the titanium ore into ingots, which reduces the amount of junk we've got in our inventory. Uh, we're also going to need wiring, it seems. Ooh, survival knife! How did I uh, miss this section? Emergency flotation. Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy. That sounds cool, but unnecessary. Repair tool, don't care. Right now, flashlight, flare. Habitat builder. That I'm interested in, but that might be a while away. First, we'll get a personal survival knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following Excellent. the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. No! Wait, we need to get a knife? Fine. Spec spectroscope scanner used to acquire technology blueprints and data on living organisms. Okay, we need a battery and titanium. How do we make a battery? A battery requires acid, acid mushrooms, two acid mushrooms, and one copper. Ha! Huh. One second. Uh, two acid mushrooms. And one copper. Plenty there. That's what the acid mushrooms are for. We get a power cell, okay. What else does that give us access to? Scanner. Used to require technology blueprints and data on living organisms. We'll have to grab one of those then. The scanner so. can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. There's a box over here that we can scan. That box has something in it. That's going to give us the blueprints, right, if we scan it with this thing? Uh, yeah, here we go. Ready to scan. F to scan. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. The hell? That's not what I wanted to scan. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Here, what? There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's 33% out of... Oh, yeah, we're gonna need more of them, aren't we? Uh, cut creep. Okay. Creep fine. Cut it? Where? Scanning? Ah! Excellent. Vital alien resource, edible construction applications. Right. And we just chop it. And... Hey, buddy, could you give us a minute? Ooh, creep find sample. Perfect. Let's go check this out. I'm going to stab you in a bit. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oxygen. Damn it. If I had more oxygen, I'd come back and stab you some more. Right, so, what we've learned is we can harvest that thing. And let's see what this gives us. This game is slowly drifting. I, I kind of have to, though, look up a, a guide for the next run, because this is too much, well, faffing about, I think, for videos. I'm pretty sure there's a few people out there who've watched this, who've played this game before, they're just screaming, No, that's never happened! Just remember how it was when you first played. Fiber mesh, naturally strong fibers, comfy. Okay. You know what, uh, pin recipe, or... Let's just do it. So, what are you good for? Oh, and we still have a couple of these. You know what? Lubricant might be a good idea. So, we can build the first aid kit, which reminds me I should check the first aid kit system. Yep, we got another one. Uh, so we can build our own first aid kits now. That actually just requires fiber mesh. That's pretty handy. We already have fins, we can build pipe. Can we to transport breathable air from a functional pump? That means we could get oxygen down, like we could stake out an area we want to go really deep in, pop down, use a floating air pump, get some pipes, and then that would lower us down? 
But first I need to get my hands on silver ore and two glass. Hmm. What have we got in here? We do have silver ore. And we have one glass. So I need to get my hands on some quartz so we can fill in the second one. I think I also need to build a sto floating storage. Yeah, give me a floating storage, actually. A small storage solution that uh, maintains vision in the water. Right. So my hoarding can now be done outside as well. First off, where was that chasm I was swimming in earlier? This thing over here. Well, not quite a chasm, but this area looks like it's got some resources in it we'd like to harvest. So let's deploy this thing here. Uh, say, put you there. Why, why are you not floating? Huh. Never mind, it is floating. Hey, cool. We shall jam a bunch of stuff in you as we need to. But for now, I'm just going to leave that there to make sure it does stay there. Let's go swoo. Looks like you remembered me, eh? What? Come back here. Oh, not so big now that I got a knife on me, are ya? And where were we? Ah, yes, we were diving. Scanning acid mushroom, cool. Rithering reeds. Writhing reeds, sorry. What else is there left? Could you stay still? Damn it. Alright. I'm just gonna scan everything we can. Well, let's see what you are. Uh, can we scan you? You're a big one. Okay, we now know what you are. Whoa! I presume that gas is not good. Whatever it is, let's not go swimming in that. Instead, ooh, what are you? After doing a bunch of swimming around, we've come back with a bunch of metal salvage and a fluid analyzer and a sample analyzer, both non-functional, and a rotten creepvine sample. Oh, they should have dumped that a while ago. Never mind. Uh, oh, and we should probably cook up that food. Yum, delicious. Oh, we're gonna need more water as well. Actually, water is where's our biggest concern. I'm gonna have to hunt down a bunch of those bladderfish. All right, I've found some coral samples. Turns out you just slap them with a knife, and the coral turns into samples you can pick up. Be sure there was something we could do with this. Ah, processors. We need copper wire, gold, and two table coral samples that allow us to make a computer chip. What you can do with that, I don't know. We've also found the blueprints for where is it? This thing, the seed light. Right. I think we actually have the parts to make that. Converts torque into thrust underwater via propeller. Hmm. I need to start figuring stuff out. First things first, a computer chip. I'm pretty sure that's going to be required for something. Although we've uh, is that Intel or AMD, you know? I mean, we could be picky, you'd never know. Uh, what else have we got access to now? Nothing new there. You know what? I should do. Crack this open. We'll look at the blueprint section and it'll show me. Advanced wiring kit. CPU used in advanced construction. Okay. I, I still don't know what to do with the first wiring kit. We have access to the seed light now, and a mobile vehicle bay we still need to find one last blueprint box for it. Oh, and the vending machine. We found a vending machine and a trash can while we were out there. I don't know why you had to unlock the blueprints for a vending machine and a trash can, or why we would want them, but we can... Read about that. Oh! Maybe a trash can be used to permanently delete stuff. Permanently deconstructs unwanted items and safely release their constitute atoms into the atmosphere. Basically incinerator. Perfect! That would be good for disposal of some junk, but we'll worry about that in a minute. For now, that means the only thing we have to get is... Seed light. Battery, lubricant, copper wire. Give me a minute. The copper wire we make out of copper ore. Easy peasy, we got a bunch of that lying around the place. The lubricant we already have, that means we just need a battery. Uh, batteries are... Two acid mushrooms and one copper ore. I have all the acid mushrooms outside. Yep, yep, I think I did. 
Oh, never mind, here's some. Yeah, we'll just take a couple of you, thank you very much. Why we never ever to harvest acid mushrooms again? They're, there's just no point, they're literally just everywhere. Alright, battery, where are you? Perfect. That gets us the seed light. Right, seed light, you better not be terrible. The seed light will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Well, that is awesome sauce, but first, uh, we're going to build a bunch of titanium. So this looks to be the seed light, and... Oh, cool. It allows us to move faster. And then, can we seamlessly switch? Yes, we can. Oh! Come here, bladderfish. I need you. I'm going to be going on some expeditions, and I need food and water. So, let's go find some. Good. What else can we catch? Oop. This is awesome. We can travel from down the actual fish. The problem is the map on the front of it. Uh, F to toggle map. Oxygen. Ooh. Much better. Okay, it has a power limit. Does that power recharge or does this thing expand and we have to build another one? That could be awkward if we have to build two. We are finding an awful lot of scrap and bits and bobs and I think I have enough bladder fish to get some water in. I think I'll just have a quick pop back and top up on food and water. Then we'll go on a proper long explore. Fine. Ow! My energy was almost empty when I left. Fine, we'll probably come back for you. But honestly, we've got enough titanium, I'm not sure we care. Well, the seed light is down to 90% power. I don't know how to charge it. I presume there's some way. Uncharted Ocean Planet 4546B. E I oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, waterborne bacteria levels high. Excellent. Well, that's good to know. Now I just gotta figure out how to charge this thing. Maybe I should make a little bit of food first. You, water bottles. Actually, I believe food, cooked food, also gives water, so maybe cook up a little bit of food as well. We can top up our food, and then any water doesn't get topped up from that, we'll just, yeah, top up from the water bottles. Yeah, see, plus 32 food, plus 5 hydration. Perfect. Vital signs stabilizing. Well, that's great. And we'll grab a couple of bottles of water, and oh my god. Yeah, that food, I hope it doesn't go off too quickly, because we've got too much of it now. Water seems to be the really limiting factor, so we're going to need something to actually clean seawater for us. After uh, messing around for a bit, we've got two more waterproof lockers. We're just going to have to store more stuff. I figure I can stop hoarding, or I can just improve on my hoarding. I figure I'm just going to go with the improved hoarding. Is this where I dumped the last two? Damn it, I always guess it wrong. All right. Time to start sorting these. I think a few more storage containers over here will make our lives an awful lot simpler when it comes to this. Receiving pre-recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. What? So... Is someone else on this planet? Okay, that means we need to go exploring some more. Uh, I think I'll cook up the food before I go and hopefully they won't go off by the time we get somewhere. And we've got the seed light, we've got some nutrient blocks, we've got three water thingies. And I gotta keep an eye out for more of those uh, bladder fish as we go around. Should probably look for bigger fish that give us more water. Water bottles don't seem to contain a lot of hydration. Okay, in here I found the beacon manager. This is the signal for life pod? Okay, we'll make that visible and we'll make you... red. And of course we can't see you up here. Oh wait. There it is. What are the odds we crash beside something so close? Keep 
keep an eye out for watery fish as we go. What the... Uh... Okay, that's not something you see every day. That's a floating rock. I, I am sure there is so going to be some use for this. We can't harvest those, can we? I'll take two, thank you. Is it gonna fall dead? I, I gotta move on. Gotta move on. Right. Let's keep boosting. Ladderfish. Back here too. Yoink. Ah! Here's the life pod. Well, that doesn't look good. Like, I'm no doctor or anything, but, uh... Open data box. Compass to... Compass? New blueprint acquired. Right, so that's how they're gating things. Uh, you are broken, busted... Anything else around here that's actually worth scanning or doing anything with? Seed light fragment. They really want you to get that seed light, don't they? This is... I don't know how many times I've seen this blueprint show up. Alright, at least we have a light with this thing. You guys are kind of pretty. Blowy fish. Who are you? Thank you. What are you? I will take you to. Uh, what I'd really like to find is something that will give us more water. Pretty, pretty sure we got a few of you on board, but done. Let's head home. That's enough exploration for tonight. I want to see what we can do with this compass and what it allows us to do. There you are. No, just more food fish. There is so much to explore out here. Those two fish just have a fight. Ooh. That looks like something we can scan. Oxygen. Timing is terrible. Come on. Let's go. I really should have kept a closer eye on that oxygen. Swim to surface. To surface. That was... <laughs> A little close. I need to be more careful about that. But hey, we got the blueprint. That's all that counts. We've got the blueprint. Okay, okay. Now, what are we doing? Some scrap down here as well. Sea moth fragment. Eh? Okay. Something else over here. Are you? Another laser cutter fragment. Okay, two of three. Where's the last of it? Now, why would they put the two of them right beside each other and not leave the third one near here? Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. You know what? Let's just uh, maybe grab some oxygen before we go explore this cave. Would be a smarter plan. Uh, I want to hit you with a knife. Oh, we have brain coral now. Almost sounds like a disease. Okay, what else we got? More minerals to mine. I am really curious though if this stuff regenerates, as in, once you mine the place out, is that it stripped mine forever? And uh, I think we're done. Perfect, let's head back home, wherever home is. Yep, there it is. And our inventory is completely full. Yep, sounds about right. Oh, that was a decent adventure, but I think I would prefer a faster-moving ship. And a gun. I'd still prefer a gun. Or some sort of harpoon of some sort. Right, let's see what new stuff we gained access to. Actually, this one's already got one. Got the compass. Displays compass heading on the HUD. Requires a wiring kit and copper wire. Pretty sure I've got those in storage somewhere. Yeah, wiring kit. What else new stuff did we get? Come on. Well, these new fish are not... Great, they do give us a little bit of water. I think the cooked peppers are kind of the best. They give plus five water when you eat them. Until they're old. And once they're old, they don't give nearly as much. Hoopfish doing. Plus three to consume. I mean, it does mean it's a nice way to get water without having to do much. You just go out, grab some fish, cook them up, and then boom, you've got moisture. Floater, composed of multiple organisms in symbiosis. Life cycle unknown. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. Also, the brain coral sample, no idea either. So... 
I suppose we'll just uh, put it in storage. Oh, and we do have to put together a compass. I'm not sure why we need it, but I'm sure it's important in some way. And... Uh, you know what, I'm going to hold off on cooking those fish for just a little bit. They seem to be get, get completely refreshed when you cook them, so we can just leave them in their inventory for a bit. And compass is now attached to us. Displays compass heading in the HUD. Right. So, does that mean my... Yep, my containers are almost south. Perfect, that makes it a little bit easier to navigate. And one thing I can tell for sure, this cave has respawned this sucker. Hey, buddy. Come on, you know you want to. Yeah, that's a little bit too dangerous. And... Did he just jump out of the water? And explode? Kinda cool. So that's where you get sulfur from. I was wondering where I found that early sulfur. You have to trigger those guys, and then after they've been triggered, you run away, and then you harvest the sulfur from their empty nests. Right, I means I probably missed some sulfur when I was going around, because I hadn't been paying attention to that. A giant... How's that noise? Yeah, it's that guy over there. I see you. Oh. Never mind, I'm pretty sure he missed me. Okay, let's go find his nest and steal his sulfur. What? No sulfur? Now you're just ripping me off. Oh, there's another one. Missed me. Yeah, this thing makes harvesting the sulfur out of these so much easier. Assuming there is sulfur. Yeah, there we go. Perfection. Now, is there anything else? Like, I don't think the resources come back. Yeah, the mining stuff, that stays gone for good. So we'll have to keep fur venturing further and further afield to keep building our base. Well, expanding our storage pods, I should say. It looks like you can get it to the escape pod from the bottom? How did I not know that? I never noticed. Okay. That's pretty cool. Also, it seems a lot slower, but that's fine. Never mind. We'll, uh, we'll make use of that in the future. But for now, I think that's enough exploration for one day. Uh, sorry about getting this out. Paddy's day kind of slowed me down a little bit more than I was expecting. Well, maybe not more. Let's just say I was hoping I would be slightly more, uh, slightly less uh, damaged by Paddy's day. But uh, I got this out at the end, and... I'm intrigued to see where this goes, but I'm going to have to do some looking up on things. I could go completely exploration-wise and just not look up anything, but that seems like that would take a really, really long time. So anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. This was uh, Subnautica. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Mm -hmm.